are you doing? Hey! Wait, you can't even hit that shit, huh? Eh? I can hit this shit more than I hit your mom. That's straight from fucking middle school, bud. Like, that shit is not valid here. You're not sweet, buddy. I'm taking your weight. You're getting, you ain't gonna say shit about it. Press your ass out the door. Buddy, let's see you get under here and let's see you warm up yeah. and rep it up. Buddy. How about this? I'll do you one better. I didn't even hit uh, 315 yet. Uh. <laughs> You're gonna take my weight and do all that just to hit three? Oh shit. Yeah? Now you're, you're just showing off now. You can't even do that. Yeah, buddy? This is my warm hump, bro. So, if you want to know how to get that superhero chest, that superhero look, right? Just poking out. Well, I'm gonna take you through our tip routine. Show you how to grow some actual knockers. So, the first thing... That's yo, going, man. bro, I was about to hit my set, bro. I was gonna hit my set. No, dude, I'm stronger than you, bro. You're not stronger than me. I have 475, boy. All right, I'm smarter than you. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> and I'm an inch taller than you. I'm more handsome than you. And my cock's longer than you. Mine's girthier. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, YouTube? We're gonna show you guys our actual chest routine to uh, maximize strength gains. Literally unlock pectoral man titties, right? I think, personally, the chest is the best part of a physique when you have a shirt on, you know? Because if you got the chest, like, rounding out, and you can see it through a shirt, nobody's fucking with you, right? No one. Look at this view, like through the compression shirt. Like all you see is the abs and then the literal tit. And the best part about having big titties is if you wear a pump cover, bro, you don't even have to have abs. You could be fat and the chest is gonna give you that appeal. It's just gonna float down. All right, we're gonna warm we're gonna... up on bench here. Me and Mikey, we like pushing strong, heavy ass weight. Cause if you were pushing past your limits, you're trying to get stronger every time progressive overload on a mainly bench compound. You're gonna force your chest to get bigger, stronger. The muscle cells are gonna become well-rounded. The thing that really separates like physiques is like the density and the muscle maturity. Like give that grown man strength look like yeah. type shit. You know, like we've saying? unlocked that eight years yeah. of benching. We've unlocked this shit. If you can bench four or five, go look at anybody, bro. They have tits, okay? Like so if people you strive for four or five tits. I think it has to do with the, the muscle density and the fact that me and Chris do heavy lifts and our shit is so dense. Like genetics plays such a huge role. Whether you have crappy chest genetics or not i think doing hypertrophy and strength training can really just separate blue 42 <laughs> see it <laughs> yeah <You're> 95 <laughs> i'm hyped for this shit i'm hyped for this shit you want to make sure you warm up properly because if you don't you can suffer a shoulder injury back injuries it's not worth it. Make sure you warm up. Dude, 25 is my warm up. I refuse to believe that this is the same weight. It's literally. Took one of these, went on the scale, it was 50 pounds, bro. So, who really knows what we're hitting here? Man, we really don't know at this point. Like. I feel like a superhero in this shirt, bro. Put on the top. You don't need to stop now. I ain't getting angry. You good? You good? I could literally curl that with two fingers, man. Unless you're in a powerlifting meet, if you're over here and you're arching your back and you're doing all this crazy shit to get lower your literal range of motion, like motherfuckers will look like a bridge on the bench, bro. Like, you're not maximizing chest gains. You're just you're doing not. that to just get the weight up. This is for chest gains to grow literal tits. So yes, you can still use an arch, but make sure your ass isn't coming off that seat. I get my back arched a little bit, get my feet planted, back arch, shoulders retracted. <sighs> Set up, retract your shoulders a little bit, keep a slight arch. I go like shoulder width. We're gonna hit about five sets of this shit. Gonna work up to 450 today.
just gonna work up to our top set, about 90% of our max, try and hit that for two. So I'm thinking like 425 for two. Along the way, just warming up. Honestly, I'm not on the bench to really achieve hypertrophy. Like I'm going low reps, a lot of weight. There is no way that you can sit here and tell me that benching heavy will not give you chest gains. Like the way that I feel, after doing a heavy compound, like to the max, is just. And it's, then you go it's, blast. You go blast hypertrophy after. It's like the pump is literally insane. I swear. Oh, bro. That's the way. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you're always striving to be bigger, stronger, then there's no way you can fail. No possible chance. But if you're gonna come in here and you're gonna hit the same amount of reps, the same weight, then you're gonna you're gonna stay at the same place. So chase that strength, chase that that physique, have a mental image of what you want, and go reach and grab that shit. I'm not gonna lie, guys, it's like 40 degrees in here. Michigan weather is some fucking bullshit, I swear to God. It was 72 days ago. Now it's literally 40 degrees outside. I feel dangerous, I feel lethal. Come on, Mike. Yep. Easy, easy. Yeah, come on. Four. I got you. One more, one more. I got you. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. Oh, 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 Come on, you got four in you. Come on now. Get that shit up. Come on. Ah, right, come on. I knew there was a zero percent chance of getting that last one. But I don't give up. Yeah, bro. bro. Fuck this right now. Like, damn, why is it so cold? I'm not letting this shit stop me. Hell no. Fuck it, yeah. baby. Hell no. I'm gonna still press to my limits, baby. You feel me? Jotunheim. That shit don't matter. Push past your mental capacity. No, fucking Fimble Winter. Yeah, Fimble Winter in this bitch, bro. <laughs> if y'all uh, watch God of War, you'll know what we're talking about. Yeah. Kratos, my fucking. Where's stoic? New Sigma personality unlocked. New personality <laughs> fucking added to the index. <laughs> right now, I got a uh, personality I got equipped. Might be scrolling like Ben 10 yeah. watch scrolling. Literally a Ben 10 watch. Personality. Ryan Gosling, Patrick Bateman. I was a shorty last night. You already know who I chose. Okay. I was that quick, quick I got you. Sherlock Holmes motherfucker. I got you. I was calculating was calculating everything. the dimensions. Yeah, bro. I was calculating in every way. So she bounced that shit at this capacity. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally like that, bro. I was. <laughs> it goes in that slow motion. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up. Yup, yup, yup. Oh yeah, easy, yeah. Easy. One more. Mm. There, yeah. I need it. <coughs> Come on. Oh yeah. Come on. Oh, oh, up with it. Up with it. Two different fucking breeds. That shit felt like a ton, bro. Ah! Damn, you different breeds. I think you're just in your head, bro. Put that shit behind me, bro, and just yeah. hit this. Plateau is reals, man. Plateau is a terrible place to be at. Yep, come on. Uh... My hands are up. My hands are way up. Bro. I hate this shit. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. Could have got two. Yeah, I can go up today, at least not in this, these conditions, but fuck it. I'm gonna hit 425. All right, 425, even though it's probably fucking 450. <laughs> I'm gonna hit it for a couple. Come on, Mike, get it up. Get it up. I'm up to hit four or five. I just want to end on something that's like pretty, pretty light, but also hard. Fuck. 
fun fact, me and Mikey only move up by 25s and 50s. Once you feel like your joints can no longer move heavy weight, that's when you go and move on. <laughs> My shoulder. <sighs> Some fucking hypertrophy next. Blow us right up, blow us up like balloons. <laughs> oh yeah. No. <laughs> It, honestly, this gym has the best vibes besides the fact that it's fucking 30 degrees in here right now. <laughs> Actually, if I don't look at myself at least five times a day, then I'm going to be fucking <laughs> feeling insecure. I'm gonna, what the fuck do I look like? I'm actually like summoning blood into my back to build a platform so when I get under there, I feel more stable. Come on. Come on. I mean, look at around us, man. We don't got much to work with here at this point. We don't have no fancy equipment. All the cables, man, every time you, you bring them down, like, they're they're working against you. They're getting stuck on shit. Like, they're not good. Terrible. But honestly, I love that shit because I love the classic movements, bro. Like flies, fucking bench press, dumbbell press. Bro, what? Why do you look like a demon and Mikey looks like an angel right now? I really like the Smith press for this for incline because you could really like control the weight all the way down and like get really deep and like still have that safety net. I know I'm close to failure <laughs> with a woman. JK, when I'm, when I'm on this machine, I start doing half reps. It just increases the bump, the amount of blood you can force into it, muscle. The bicep vein through the compression, that's different. Yep, yep, mine, bro. Come in, bro. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, bro. One upper, upper chest, one middle, one lower, and then you get the cables in, out, get the outer girthy part, and then you get one pec deck. You smooth five sets to failure. You want a super set? <sighs> yeah. The bombs are coming, the bombs are coming, the Russians are here. Me as fuck. <laughs> Russian I'll pick up in front gate and I'm just. <laughs> Dude, I'd love to be. <laughs> Bro, I, would, I can literally hide behind anything, bro. I'm, I'm agile, bro. Many times. <laughs> Mike's emoting on the football field. <laughs> no, I used to. I used to. The ball's like six three. I wish. No. But no. you know what? I don't wish. Yeah, okay. I don't wish. I, say, bro. I love my God-given abilities. Okay. I got fucking double D knockers, man. Uh, ah, let's go! <laughs> Why Brody look so zesty putting those up, bro? What? He looks so zesty bringing them up. Oh, Drake. Yeah. 21. Can you do stuff for me? <laughs> Spread them seagull arms, buddy, and seagull wings. There you go.
no money that knows they exist. There's a monster inside all of us. Real power doesn't come to those who are born strongest, or fastest, or smartest. It comes to those who will do anything. some fucking dips right now. These, these chains are literally negative five degrees and they're gonna have to go on my... Tricep do on the same day as your push day, in. like with chest, because it's a huge factor in strength and push movements. So I kind of combine the two and maximize the gains for both. I wonder if you could understand the fear of being rained on in this lonely world. To stop that rain, I shall lend you any strength, any power. If you just have faith in me, I will not allow any rain to fall upon this world. Tell me, what makes you so touchy about Hokage? Because I'm like you, that's my goal! Just watch, someday I'll be Hokage! Remember this! To be Hokage, that is my dream! exercises I like to end on close grip bench because you're working a little bit of chest and a lot of the tricep as well so you're getting like really good factor and uh, combination there I mean the inside of that that meat in there you don't need to even go crazy for your tricep it's really easy to maximize like hypertrophy on your tricep like, you don't have to especially if you're doing the right form like you're not going come on all the way up here you're holding it down and you're really going to like get a few sets of that move on to another tricep exercise <laughs> Watch what you say, kid. I said it and I never go back on my word. That's my Nindo, my ninja way. Get ready to pay up on our bet. That cursed necklace of yours is about to be mine. that the stories are true. I'd always heard that the...